What's up guys? Today I want to show you my invisible turret pods. I think they're pretty amazing. People can't get close to these pods without getting shot. It catches them off guard. You put silencers in there, it freaking destroys them. You can use this in your main base, you can use them as externals. Uh, they're pretty versatile. They're semi easy to build. Uh, there's a little nuances with them, but without further ado, let's get started. Uh, for this, uh, we're on pretty flat terrain. Uh, for flat terrain, it's pretty easy, but once we start getting to different terrain, I'm gonna have to show you how to modify the base a little bit in order to get the best outcome. So if you're using something flat, all we're gonna do is use our floor stack method. Now, since we're on pretty flat ground, uh, this will be consistent all the time. I like to go up to this second twig, right where the rope is. Uh, it doesn't really matter, it just depends on how high you want this, but hold alt, make sure you're looking around so you don't move your mouse. Walk, come back in until it uh, snaps. Now there's two ways you could do this. You could either do that and delete this, or if you need to, extend it out a little bit. Also for this, for this uh, design, I'm gonna be leaving this as a square, but if you wanna change that, you can change it to a triangle. You wanna like add it to your base just by doing this build out. This will allow you to have a more comfortable base. But for now, I'm just going to use the square. All right, with this, there's two different versions we can do. One's a little higher, one's a little lower. I'm just gonna go with this. Since we're on really flat ground, I'm gonna go with the lower one. This is one of the key pieces. This is what's gonna be having the turrets sit on the foundation. So we need this uh, four triangle frame to be in the walls. So that we're able to put a roof or a floor tile there eventually. Just like that. So we're able to put that there and put a half wall. Now, here's a key important part. Since we're gonna have a floor here, in order to close this off in the front, we're gonna be using a three-handed bunker technique. So once this is upgraded to stone, it's always consistent. What I like to do is if you look here, two blocks, two blocks down from where, you're, where you see blue here, right above this little guy right here. This little brick texture, that's where we're gonna be putting. You could go a little bit higher if you want to. I'd say that's a perfect spot right there for our foundation. Now you wanna make sure this is always 78 or above, 78, 79, 87. If not, uh, your building will decay. But now if you do this out of order and you put this here first, you're gonna find it really hard to get the 78, 79%. I am able to do it sometimes, but it takes takes a while and it's just so much easier if you get rid of this. And place this down first. There you go. If you get 70, make sure you delete it, do it again. Now for this, I don't like looking at the, the squares. I like to clean it up. Turn this into triangles with this build out. If it doesn't work, that just means I built it out on the wrong side. Go ahead and upgrade. Now, we're what left with something that looks kind of like this. But what we're able to do now place our floor and this is what the turret's going to be sitting on and with that half wall in the back 
we're gonna get our floor frame. And usually I like to turn this into sheet metal because if you look at the difference, this is kind of thick. Turn it into sheet metal. It's a little bit thinner. But also if you have a building skin, I believe the brick skin will do the same. We do not want this. We want this hanging over as much as possible. This won't give us our invisibility anymore. As you can see, it's not completely invisible, but as further back you go, you cannot, you cannot see. What you can do also, since we're on pretty flat ground and it's a little forgiving, is you can raise this a little bit more, kind of halfway up that brick. Make sure you play with this in a build server just to test. Now you can see that we're doing pretty good again. If you do it too close, it won't work. What I like to do, I haven't really found a better solution than just putting triangle roofs like this. Now for this part, if you're just using this as a Maybe an external. This is kind of the smallest footprint I've come up with. I'll show you in a bit how to turn it kind of into a more functioning base. But you can put a door here and now it's protected. So we're left with something that looks like this. And again, you could put, if you really needed to, can put door frames here for like externals as long as you have one side one side that's able to hold the, the floor good now for these we can either have one or two turrets one I just put it in the center you can fit two in here doesn't really matter but for this I'm gonna go with just a single. I do have God mode on, but as you can see, so we're on flat ground. The angle is pretty wide. And when you have two turrets, it's just close to death. Like right now, I cannot see the turret at all. It's tracking me. You can upgrade this. Heat metal. Heat metal is a little bit more visibility. I think you could see, might be able to see in the crack a little bit more, but it's not too big of a difference. And you could even go to high quality. If you want to. Now with HVs, it's really hard to shoot this. The only way I found with HVs is, is if you get super close, excuse me. But from back here afar, uh, we're pretty immune to the HVs. There's no way to really get it. Splash damage doesn't go through. Now. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a more 360 degree cone, we could do that. Now, if you wanted to have more of a 360 degree coverage, uh, you could do so. Uh, I found the best way for me is to take this uh, square and turn it into a triangle. From here. We're left with something like this. You can make it as big or as small as you want. This is kind of going to be the smallest footprint that you can have. This will provide six turrets. It's a little overkill, but it's nice. And all we're going to do from our original. Hold up. Just like this.
Now we're left with something like this. And all you'd have to do, do this on all sides. Now you'd be left with this. And it'd be the same thing. You'd have half holes all the way around. You'd have a door frame here. Lock all this off. I have lived out of this. It's not terrible, but it's not the greatest. And then again, Get our height. For the sake of time, I'm just going to leave these as, as squares. And I'll meet back up with you when I have all sides done. Now that we have all six sides, it'll look something like this. Here's how to get in. Usually I just have the door up here in any direction. Now once you're inside, you can either fill this in or use it down below. But in order to get to your turrets, all you'd have to do is come out this door and walk around. Pretty simple. So you get 360 degree coverage pretty nice now when we're met with kind of different terrain it's not so flat we're gonna have to do something a little different again try to work with these and, and build servers before you try any of it before you try this live uh since we're on some a little bit uneven ground uh what i like to do is raise the turrets a little bit higher and have them shoot down and i'll show you why Now this is important, when we were on flat ground, we came up to the second twig, which allowed the turrets to shoot basically straight and have a little bit up and down movement, but not too much. But for these little uneven trains, and we're going to be building the turrets a little bit higher, we actually need to come down to this twig that's right in the halfway mark. This one here. And we're going to line up right on the top of it and I'll show you what this does uh, why we're doing this again for vault everything else is going to be the same now for these since I like to build them higher what I'm going to do is just put three walls all the way around don't have to have anything inside. Just like that, and we're actually going to use a full wall here. Got these off with half walls. We should have something like this. Now for these, it's pretty much the same. Except our turret's going to be sitting up here. At the top. But our landmark is still going to be... Originally, it'd be up there. All we're doing is moving it down to right here. Again, making sure you're at 79, 78, or above. Now we're left with something like this. All right, so the reason why we built our floor stack a little bit different on the ramp is because we needed a different height for our turret. 
So as you can see here, this was the original one that we used out in the lake, lining up on the second twig. And effectively what we've done is place the turret just below this pole here, because this is, the turret cannot shoot through this. But when we get to uneven terrain, the lower we go, the higher it actually raises the turret. So for this, you can see it's more cut off. And this provides a little bit better of an angle to shoot over our wall. So an uneven terrain, I found that this actually works a lot better than that because this version has to be pretty flat. So that's why we've raised this by a whole wall or a half wall and we're at this height now. So once we get to here, everything's the same. This is where your turret's gonna sit. You should be left with something like that. Remember for these, upgrade these to metal just so people don't pick them out. So you guys, two turrets. Now we're left with something like this for a little bit more uneven terrain. Since the turret's higher, it can shoot down. And it works pretty nice. And you can upgrade these. Turned off player protection. I don't know why the server can kill you while you're down sometimes. And there you go, that's my invisible turret pod. Hope you guys like it. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to point out that these turrets do not shoot up. You're kind of limited to where the the roof is if you're anything above it you might hear it shoot but it won't actually shoot you so you got to make sure you're either pretty flat or uh not having your base look up on like one of these mountains because you will have to wait until somebody gets super close to your base for it to work you're pretty much limited to however tall you put the turret Go any above, you're gonna be a sad boy.